All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today is a good day to smash. We're playing the double or nothing challenge. If we go to the deck here, we've got all of the cards are glass, so each one gives us times to molt when scored. And then because we have two copies of the Oops All Six Joker here, every time we play a glass card, there's a 100% chance that it will break. And we also have, as part of the restrictions here, there's a bunch of banned cards. And basically the idea is anything that would create cards like, you know, standard packs, standard tag here, anything that would change the modifications on the cards. So, you know, here Midas Mask, Vampire, you know, even these tarot cards, Empress and Hierophant, anything that would remove the glass is banned. And so we can't get rid of any of the glass except for when we play cards, they get destroyed, they get permanently removed from our deck. And so, you know, I've seen some folks say, you know, this one's kind of hard for them, kind of managing what's in the deck. And so I'll give you my version. I'll give you my advice. My advice is just skip more. And so, you know, if the thing that you need is help scoring, all of these things being glass, that's a huge help to being able to score more points. So I don't need as many shops, I can just skip more. And if I skip more, I play fewer cards. And if I play fewer cards, then, you know, they don't break and then I have plenty of cards left in the deck. You know, if I skip every round, then there's only the eight bosses and I can win each one in just one hand. And so maybe that's only, you know, 40 cards or something like that. So still plenty of room to work with. Also, uh, only the cards that are scored get broken. If you play something like ace high with a seven, six, and a three, then the lower cards don't get broken. All right, so, you know, here's something that I thought would be a reasonable start here if I take a skip for a foil tag and then investment tag also to make up some of the money lost from taking the skips here against the first boss so you know different ways to think about this if i play two cards this is times two and then times two that's times four total so can i get a pair that's worth 150 points and then times four will be 600 that's not possible um so maybe instead of a pair i could go for um a triple a triple would work because a triple would be if i have four and then another times two is times eight so anything times eight would be more than 600 points. A triple would work or also a two pair would work. So I'm just thinking about, you know, in the end game, what am I trying to do? In the end game, probably play a straight flush. Straight flush is gonna be worth the most points. Remember this uh, X molt from the glass cards that happens before any molt from your jokers. And so, you know, in the end, the hand that's going to score the most points is going to be the hand that has the highest base. And so obviously that's gonna be a straight flush. And so maybe what I wanna do in the first, let's say four antes, the first four bosses, we could play regular flushes. And then when we get to the later rounds, then we'll play straight flushes. So for those purposes, you know, here I have some clubs in hand already. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna discard looking for different clubs. I'm gonna to try to get rid of the small clubs and then keep the high clubs for my straight flush. Um, so here 10, if I wanna make that high straight flush, or I'm gonna throw it away here looking for different clubs, lower clubs, hopefully. Maybe one more time looking for low clubs. All right, so nine, eight, seven, six, five is not exactly what I had planned to do originally, but this should be fine. Um, I have to decide here whether I wanna get rid of the eight of diamonds or whether I wanna get rid of the eight of clubs. I think, you know, since I, what does that leave me with as far as like clubs are concerned? I get a seven, four, three, two. Maybe what I wanna do is keep this eight to go with this seven, four, three, two, and that still opens up the possibility of playing a club's flush in the future. So let's play this straight. And you know, very easily scoring 8,000 points there. And so I know now in the next three bosses, if I just, you know, play a straight, it'll be worth plenty of points. I don't really need any help scoring. 
We can take here a foil business card. Business card is not great because you know you play the face cards and then they just break. Though you do get a 100% chance of getting the money. Um, I will take it because it's foil. And then just thinking about, you know, how do I want to spend the rest of my money here? Um, I think I do want the discard voucher. So if I'm kind of like controlling the flow of the cards here so that I don't, you know, play and then break the wrong cards, um, I will take the discard voucher to help with that. All right, we can skip here leveling up straights. Actually, that's pretty good. And then we have another opportunity for a foil in the next shop. So here, base chips and bolts uh, halved is a little bit awkward, though we do have the ability to make straights. So maybe, uh, again, I'll go for the low cards, get rid of the low cards first. Um, or maybe now do we want to pivot and then play the high card so we get the money earlier from the business card? Let's do that. So I'm looking here, I've got 10 jack queen. Do I want to get rid of the spades? And so maybe this nine of spades, maybe I'll do something like this. So I've already used some clubs. I think I've given up on the clubs and now I'm just looking for a king. All right, so we do have king here. We can play this straight, will be plenty of points and we have money from the business card. You know, some consideration for doing something a little bit more fancy there. You know, maybe I'm trying to dig for more face cards and maybe play two pair not to score, but to just get the money from the business card. Though I don't think we need the money. We're going to be skipping a lot, so we don't need that many shops. Jolly Joker, again, doesn't really support, you know, this ability to make straights here. If it's giving us plus eight molt for pairs, that's okay. Um... I probably don't need this, probably don't need the clearance sale, so I'm just gonna save my money for interest rather than pick up these booster packs here. So we'll go next. All right, skip for Mega Buffoon is actually pretty big. That's huge. Um, I could take Runner to go with my straights, I guess, and then, you know, rather than do these other things, we'll pick up Steven. So maybe what I'm thinking is, uh, Short term, we'll play the high straights, and then that way we can get, um, you know, the business card value, and then long term, we'll play the low straights with the even cards for Steven. Extra voucher in the shop could be exciting here. Boss says play only one hand. That's all right. I was only planning on playing one hand. Uh, a little bit awkward that we got. We do have a straight already. We have a low straight. I'm trying to decide if I want to play the low straight or if I want to try to go for the higher straight. I think I'm going to go for the higher straight, just straight up. Um, because, I mean, we only have 42 cards left in the deck, right? Um, so we've got four discards, that's going to be 20 cards. So 20 cards, I get to see more than half of my deck, trying to find a king and a queen and a jack. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I just need a queen and a 10 now. Um, which suits do I wanna get rid of? Does it matter? Um, do I wanna get rid of hearts? Do I wanna get rid of diamonds? Maybe diamonds and spades. So I'll discard the heart here and then dig like this. All right, clubs, I said we're done with clubs. So maybe I can get rid of this ace here. So I should think about how many clubs do I have? I have nine clubs. So nine clubs is not enough to make, you know, flush or a straight flush. So maybe I'll discard the ace of diamonds and then smash the ace of clubs. With the hearts versus diamonds, I think we remove the diamonds and discard the hearts. So maybe something like this. Uh, still looking for the 10 and the queen. All right, so we got a queen. All we need is a 10 here. Uh, we didn't get the straight. That's technically okay because we have Steven here and we have the Jolly Joker. We can just play two pair. So maybe two pair eights and aces is pretty awkward. 
maybe eights and kings. That way I can try to get the business card money. This is going to hurt my ability to make straights in the future, but unfortunately the needle says play only one hand. So I think this is going to be it. All right, there, you know, we could just continue to play two pair. That's 15,000 points already. Um, the next boss, by the way, in anti four is going to be 12,000. And so, you know, a similar flavored uh, two pair would be perfectly fine. We don't necessarily have to play straights if you're concerned about running out of cards. Interesting opportunity to pick up seance here if we're going to be, you know, pretty easily playing straight flushes. At least a couple, right? We could go queen through eight straight flush here. We can, on the low end, play straight flushes. We have a couple different options. Um, I think I don't want the spectral cards as much as I might want something like this. Juggler, the extra hand size, just making it easier for me to find the right cards specifically. Um, as far as like vouchers here, uh, I don't need either of these. I'm trying to decide if I want these booster packs. Probably I prefer the Arcana rather than the Spectral. Arcana is just going to be more consistent. All right, in here we've got uh, 20 bucks or I can pick up some planet cards. Let's go. I could make some hearts if that was something I was concerned about, though I don't need straight flushes anymore. Just regular straights is already big enough for the final encounter. So I'll just take Hermit here. That does give me access to the Spectral Pack. Ah, uh, Ankh, or I guess we'll do the Suit Change. What flavor do we get? All Spades, interesting. So in Spades now, yeah, I'm looking, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, just straight up, I don't know. I don't know how to evaluate that. All right, let's go. Gluttonous Joker for clubs. We're tapped out of clubs. Um, I could end with four of a kind, though probably straights, staying on straights will be better. I'll reroll one more time. Okay, we can take Neptune here. Now our straight flush is worth more points. Um, and I don't think I need this. Would this be better than Steven? Because remember, all of this multi is gonna happen after all of the times twos from the glass cards. So, I haven't been playing straights for my runner because I haven't drawn any straights. That's kind of disappointing. Um, anyway, the shoot the moon. Um, I mean, I could probably replace this runner. But I don't think we need this. Let's go next. Let's just save our money. All right. Double for more foil, I guess. All face cards face down. Hmm, that's awkward. That's going to make it hard for me to get my straights. If I want to go for straights, and maybe I do because they are leveled up here. And so what kind of straight can I go for? Let's try to play... Not any spades. Let's try to save all the spades and play other flavors of straights. So maybe we'll go for something like this and then try to pick up a four. Continue looking for, what do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of clubs and diamonds. And so I'll discard the hearts. Yeah, clubs and diamonds. So maybe discard like this. Um, yeah, trying to pick up a four still. There we go. Um, do I want to discard and try to find a different four? So I want to throw away this two. There we go. So ace, two, three, four, five. We'll keep the spades. Um, we'll put the even cards on the left because of Steven here. So we'll get the plus four before the times two. Actually, we get the times two before the plus four, so it doesn't matter the order. And then see already that straight is worth 100,000 points. So we already have enough to beat the boss.
I guess this is coming from, you know, we do have the level up straights here. We do have the orbital tag was pretty useful, pretty helpful. Um, this flower pot, is this something that we're able to do? Uh, probably, probably, I want to say probably. I feel like there's a way we can figure this out. I feel like we can make that happen. Um, if we do this, maybe we don't need this Jolly Joker. We can take the Temperance here for some money. All right, Celestial Pack. What can we do here? We can... I'm not really planning on playing anything other than straights or straight flushes. So, you know, maybe I could just, I'll just skip here, honestly. Uh, Cause I just use the temperance in case there's a full card that shows up when I re-roll. Um, let's go spectral pack. We can go aura if we want, we could make a purple seal. So what's my end game plan? My end game plan is I need this three of hearts in order to activate my flower pot, or maybe I don't. I have four of clubs, three of diamonds. Four of diamonds works, seven of clubs. What I need is a six of spades. All right, if I go seven through three, I, get, I need a six of spades. Confusing. I hate flower pot. <laughs> Maybe it's better, like we already have 100,000 points if we don't do the flower pot. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's, I'm trying to figure out where to stamp the purple seal. And I think the correct answer is we put it on an ace of spades. Or maybe, yeah, we'll put on the ace of spades. That's the card that I'm most likely to discard. And then, we have extra money, so we'll reroll one time. Photographing us times two on a face card. Do we want to try to end with the high straight that has the times two on the face cards? Like that seems pretty good, right? So I go Jack, Queen, King, and then Spades, or Jack, King, Ace, or Jack, King, 10, and then some Spades. That seems cool. So if I do this, maybe now we don't do Steven anymore. Steven, remember the plus four is after the times two. So that just, it just sucks. Um, would I rather have plus one hand size or plus one discard? Or maybe we can afford bull? I think I want bull. I think I want the digging power. All right, the boss says cards previously played are debuffed doesn't work because cards played are destroyed. So we'll just skip here for 45 bucks, I guess. All right, now, um, I wanna try to save the high straight with the photograph. I wanna try to save that for the final encounter. So I guess we're trying to play a low straight and I don't need the flower pot. I just need any low straight. So let's, just discard like this. We do have the plus one discard from the drunkard. So yeah, we'll just, even even spades, I'm okay with giving up some spades. So two, three, four, five, six, if we want. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and run those out. Mm. Trying to figure out if I do need the flower. I just don't need the flower pot, right? So it doesn't matter what straight that I play. So I'll just play this one. Smash. All right. Uh, we don't need the banner though. You know, a ton of chips here with the extra discard is kind of nice. Um, we don't need the Scholar. What about the Buffoon Pack? Do we want something like this? x Molt for the Blackboard? Um, this might be possible if we, you know, if we just smash everything. 
uh, you know, we already have all of these spades, so it might be possible to go blackboard. Um, I think, you know, with kind of careful slash clever planning, I think we can make the flower pot work. Maybe what we'll do, maybe we don't need the business card anymore. I mean, we got plenty of money, right? So we don't need the business card. We pick up the blackboard. Let's go hone just because and maybe before I open this arcana pack. So with the arcana, with the tarot cards, a bunch of tarot cards are banned. So it's easier to find duplicates. It's easier to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So before I open the arcana pack, I'm gonna re-roll. Um, world helps me make spades if I want black cards, though, you know, isn't compatible with the flower pot. You know, maybe I get to do one or the other. Maybe, I think I'll still take the world, I'll still hold on to it. And so in the final hand, if I need to make some spades on the fly, I'll do it. Um, maybe also with the star for diamonds, kind of the same reasoning if I need to activate my flower pot on the fly. Justice card here we don't need. And so if I go here's one, two, three tarot cards, now show me three different tarot cards because there's no duplicates. Um, I could make more clubs if I want. I could take more money from the temperance. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just take the money. Then keep re-rolling. Uh, do I want scary face for, you know, it doesn't give me any chips right now. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to get rid of the juggler or if I want to get rid of the drunkard now that we have only 28 cards left in the deck. Probably I don't need the juggler anymore. I think I could do better than scary face. I'm just going to reroll here. So DNA is the one way that you can continue to add cards to the deck. Though the awkward thing about the DNA is you make a glass card and then so it just makes another glass card. So it's fine, it's legal. Um, let's keep re-rolling. Moon, we don't need. Rebay, we don't need. We can take the Hermit for the money. Um, these, you know, even with the Swashbuckler here, the plus molt will happen after all of my glass cards. So I'm just gonna keep re-rolling. Um, maybe that's the appropriate place to stop. I have $50 left. I do want to spread out my rerolls, so I'll save my rerolls for the next shop. Do I want this super position? Can I do something like play a low straight that has, well, on the high end, how many more straights do I have, right? I only have uh, the one king left. So I can play on the low end, maybe, Two, three, two, three, four, four. I only have one five left on the low end for this superposition. It is polychrome though, you know, which is not nothing. I think, I think I will take it, though I'm not expecting it to do much for me. Uh, orbital tag for pairs, I don't care. I'm just, uh, you know, we do all of the skips here. Serpent, this is pretty huge. This is gonna make it so that we can find whatever it is that we're looking for. And currently what I'm looking for, do I need these tarot cards? Um, nah, probably not. So I'll get rid of the star. I'm gonna discard here purple. We get a priestess. Yeah, we probably don't need this world. I think it'll be fine. I do want the priestess for the tarot cards or the planet cards, though these are not exactly the ones that you want to see. Let's, I'm going to, here I have King Jack. I have Ace, Queen, 10. I'm going to smash an Ace, probably an Ace of Spades. So if I discard like this, I'm gonna go for the low straight here. Um, yeah, continue looking for the low straight. Should be able to just hit it, right? We only have 28 cards left in the deck. So here's ace, two, three, four, five. Um, do I care about what the suits are? I think I have enough points, 
even without the flower pot, I'll just save the flower pot for the final round. So yeah, we'll just smash here. All right, uh, green joker we don't need. I mean, we could buy and sell these for some small amount of money. Maybe we don't need the extra discard anymore if we have only 23 cards left in the deck. So, you know, let's buy and then sell and then buy again. Uh, we do have the discounted booster packs, but like I said before, um, I want to, you know, try to get more tarot cards because it'll block duplicates. All right, I don't need an egg. Um, I could take the clown for a free reroll here. Sure. Mercury, I don't need. To do list, I don't need. Trading card as another way of removing cards from the deck. I think we don't need this. I think we have plenty of ways to remove cards from the deck. Um, reroll one more time. Where are the tarot cards? Throwback is pretty big right you know if we just do all these skips we can take the throwback here if we take the throwback here now let's go small arcana first all right what's the fool say fool says high priestess or we can go for the wheel um we can go for strength i think we don't need strength so let's um yeah let's I am interested in the priestess. So we'll go priestess. All right, still more stuff that I don't need. We'll go jumbo here. All right, jumbo. Do I want money or I think that's it, right? We just take the money here. We get one more shop after this, after the next boss. So we'll reroll. All right, Crazy Joker for straights. Again, this is after all of the X molts from our glass cards. So that's not something that we want to do. Um, I will go next here. Uh, let's go extra hand size is cool. Times 4.5 on the throwback. No repeat hand types. So it is just the one straight. All right, let's do some calculating here. We have, here's the full deck. So this is my plan. This is my plan for the final hand. The final hand is going to be, let's go ace, king, jack, queen, or king, queen, jack, and then either the ace or the 10 of spades. Okay. So, What's my this round straight going to be? My straight this round is going to be, we don't have any fives. So we're on six, seven, eight, nine, and then a 10. Okay. What does that leave me with? Um, I one, two, three, four. I'm trying to figure out what happens if I smash all these? What happens if I smash the um, hearts? If I remove all of these, do I still have 10, 9? I'm missing an 8. So maybe we don't smash the 8. Maybe we go 3, 7, Jack, Queen. Yeah, so 3, 8. Wait, we don't smash the 8. So we go Jack, 10, Queen. That leaves us the Ace to go with the queen of spades. Um, all right, now let's also smash this seven. So how do I get the seven? Um, I want to discard my spades, right? So one, two, three, four. Sell the Pluto. Um, do I need this six? I do need this six. Do I need the nine of diamonds not necessarily if i have the nine of spades um i have four discards i only have 12 cards in the deck so this should be fine if i ship it like this um the eight i'm not using the eight wait i am using the eight 
Never mind. Let's do this. All right, we got the world card. World card helps, weirdly. So here's queen, jack, ten, three. I'm still looking for... Maybe we'll discard this stuff. I'm looking for... I have no more sixes left. I do have more sevens left. So maybe I don't need this seven necessarily. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. All right, so queen, jack, 10, seven, three. And then I've got one more seven left in the deck. And then the tens. Cool. Smash. Oops. <laughs> uh, that was not how I planned that to go. I will admit that was not the plan. All right, uh, this stuff doesn't mean anything. Oh, you know, maybe burglar is kind of fun though. Let's, seed money doesn't matter, right? Celestial pack. Let's go, I guess I could pick up a Neptune if I want to play the straight flush instead. So, thinking, thinking. How much was this? This was five times. What's the Archon effect say? Uh, Fool for another Neptune card. Yeah, let's do that. Another Neptune card. We'll go reroll here. Ah, Troubadour, extra hand size. Hit the road. Nah. Saturn. Hmm. No, I think I know what I want to do. I think, I think we take potassium here. I think we get rid of throwback. I think we re-roll. Ancient Joker, nah. Go Bulls? Yeah, how about that? How about, um, how about we get rid of this stuff here? There we go, we got plus 48 chips from the bull. And then we can go next. Uh, we could take a banner too. Sure, why not? All right, go next. Ooh, we could get a negative in the shop. Uh, random Joker disabled. Hmm, that's kind of stinky. Maybe we should play another one? Uh, I think we could do it. Great. So, here's... I have the straight in hand. So how do I get rid of everything else? So what do I have left in the deck? I have another queen in the deck. I have another 10. I have two nines. Hmm. Yeah, two nines kind of awkward, right? So let's play this ace, I think. Maybe I'm supposed to play two aces. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need both aces because I could just play the 10 and the nine. So play both of these. Nice. All right, the tens, I do need both of them. Um, this two, I don't need. So I have a nine of spades and I have a 10 of spades. Man, okay. I really needed that last round, but we scored too many points. So let's go ahead and break this. This, ah, this is disabled. Now I don't, I have half his chance to get the destruction here. That's not good. That's not, part of the plan, to be honest. Wait, if I go queen, 10, eight, seven, six, uh, that still leaves me with the nine and the queen. So yeah, maybe that's something that I could do. Uh, there is a, another six, right? So let's do this. Let's go king, 
eight, seven spades. Then we'll go queen, six, seven, eight, 10. That leaves us with the nine and the queen. Ship it. These aren't gonna break, that makes me sad. So that leaves me with these for the straight flush. Unfortunate. Let's discard. Let's discard. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to break all of them. I was trying to break all the cards and then win with no cards left over. Though this boss basically just ruins it <laughs> uh, where we're not able to break all the cards. And also on the previous round, um, the round ended early. It's hard to do. I mean, it's pretty easy to do if you're not just doing maximum skips because you just play more rounds and then that gives you more opportunity to break cards. Um, so, whatever. You know, we did the full skip run because I was trying to demonstrate here. You know, a way, a way that you can try to attack this challenge is, you know, just leverage the fact that these are glass cards. Use the fact that these are times twos. Um, and then just skip every round and you have plenty of scoring uh, even without any of the X molt jokers All right, so that's my take on the double or nothing challenge actual double or nothing you play it it gets destroyed um, another way that you can kind of come at this is you could just if you wanted to do it without skipping, then you want to play fewer cards. And so maybe what you want, what we said before is you just go high card. You find, you reroll until you get the right jokers that allow you to do high card. And then you could do it without skipping. So maybe, you know, that was a ra rather quick one. Let's go ahead, let's do a new one. Uh, let's see here. The fragile challenge. So let's try to do it without skipping. So in the first round here, if I just do a pair, how much is a pair? Um, a pair would normally be like 60 points and then 60 points times four is not enough. So a triple will work. The question is like, do I want to do this kind of triple? E yeah, sure, why not? Triple will also work on the boss. Uh, this is kind of funny here. We take the burglar and then we get more smash. All right, if the thing that you want to do is play high card, potentially telescope could help with that. Though, you know, maybe in this first shot, this is not really what I was looking for. Um, I'm looking for some kind of scaling joker or some kind of chips joker. So I'll give it another shop, another chance here. Uh, by the way, because the boss debuffs your cards, you can use this as a way of not smashing cards. If you want to try to save cards, use as few cards as possible. We already did that on the actual double or nothing challenge, you know, trying to play as few cards as possible so we can break as few cards as possible. You know, let's just mix it up here. Try different stuff. All right, we've done, I mean, we've kind of done the triples. Like we've done the three of a kind. Is that what we want to do? Is we want to play three of a kind the whole time? Um, maybe, maybe. What would that look like? How would I pull that off? So, you know, theoretically you've got however many ranks, right? You got 13 ranks and so you do Three of a kind 13 times. Um, okay. So let's try this. Uh, I do need to skip some rounds, right? Did I say I wasn't going to skip? Let's try the three of a kinds because I think it, it's interesting. So Celestial Pack guaranteed to give us three of a kind. So now, with my hearts debuffed, if I want to kind of consistently break cards, maybe what I do is I discard the hearts. Yeah, maybe what we try to do 
on. Discard like this. Uh, unfortunate. I was trying to get the three tens, but we didn't get the three tens. Um, which may be what that means is I play two pair aces and tens here, and then also I play two pair aces and tens in the next round. Is that should be plenty of points, right? Two pair is uh, worth at least a hundred points, and then this is times eight. All right, um, this stuff here, I don't want, maybe, I mean, this happens after the glass, so maybe it's the chips or something that I want. I want to stick to this three of a kind. I think three of a kind is going to be interesting for us. Uh, maybe we want the reroll voucher for the boss. All spades are debuffed. All right, so I do... You know, I do want to try to get, maybe in the next round, I want to play my two pair. I want to get rid of my aces and my tens. But maybe that's not what's in this hand right now, so maybe I get rid of the sixes. Maybe what we want to do is we want to get rid of the low cards first. Alright, hologram here. We're not able to add cards to the deck, so that doesn't matter. Castle is medium. I think we just, you know, with the leveled up three of a kind, just keep going on that train. In the next round here, can I get my tens and aces? Is that possible? Or do I end up playing three twos? I think we play three twos here. Yeah, maybe we will you know, play the lower ranks and then work our way up. All right, in the next shop here, four of a kind, no judgment, maybe, just to see. Uh, buffoon pack first. Um, Steven doesn't do anything, eight ball's okay. Well, we get to do it once, right? <laughs> we get to play a pair of eights one time. Um, I do probably want the boss reroll if the final boss is going to be annoying like happened last time. So let's try... Alright, here's an 8. Um, oh, I got my aces and my 10s. What other... So I have a ace of spades here and I have a 10 of clubs. So... Yeah, sorry, how many how many points is that worth? If I go, because two pair with aces and tens, that's, you know, 60 times two. And then if I go times eight, um, I don't think that's 1600, right? That's not gonna work. So I do need a triple. Um, let's look for maybe some threes. Uh, what about the kings? Uh, yeah, I could get some kings. It'd be awkward if I discarded like this, so I'm just going to keep going for the threes. Or maybe, yeah, keep going for the threes. Hmm, didn't get the threes. Um, that's okay. What we could do is we could play these debuffed cards and then they won't break. And then we can play the threes, which also this one won't break. What about mm, queens? Shoot the moon? We already got rid of our queens. So I think we just take the celestial here. Maybe we get the discount first. And I don't know, what's the other kind of thing that we might want to be doing? A uh, high card maybe? All right, so a question I have, um, how many rounds do we have left? 
right? So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six triples that we can make, one, two, three, four, five, six triples that are left, um, we could theoretically, you know, use some strength cards out of our tarot cards. That could be interesting. But, you know, if I have six triples left, I have how many bosses left, right? Like I have this boss and I have the next. That's it, I just have six bosses. So maybe now we skip. All right, so what am I trying to break here? I'm trying to break, uh, let's go fours. So here's fours in hand already, go for fours. I guess eights probably, because we have the eight ball, but uh, we have the fours. Uh, I guess I'll keep going for the eights, just in case. Yeah, so we can play the fours here. Maybe what we want to do is, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe we want to play a four to break it first, but that's not viable. Uh, we do, I did notice, you know, not necessarily a whole lot of points there. If we're only playing three at a time, that's not that many glass cards. And maybe we need some other way of scoring more points. Um, let's try this buffoon pack. You know, campfire normally pretty good, but maybe it's if we're skipping a lot, maybe it's going to be hard to get the consumables. Um, I mean, ramen helps, right? Let's go next. Buffoon pack. Sorry, buffoon pack. Um, obelisk is not gonna be what we want to do here we get the levels up three of a kind so i mean i will take it because you know it does sell for four bucks it does have uh you know plus 10 molt not that 10 molt is worth a lot um the other stuff here maybe doesn't matter so i'll just take the faceless joker could potentially give me money all right how do i beat this without face cards because my face cards are face down maybe so i didn't pick up that much scoring right so maybe i even need two triples which is like kind of spooky um we do have the ramen that's new technology so let's go for fives maybe i'll discard like this fives or eights Mm, awkward. Uh, I do know these are three face cards for the purposes of the faceless joker. I would still... I only have 13 cards left in the deck. I'm looking for either fives or eights. Let's go for the eights for the eight ball value. Uh, this is incredibly awkward. Um... Let's try to play this as a high card. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put this one down and I'll pick this one up. That gives us a better chance of this being just an ace. Oh, they're all three jacks. Oops. All right, let's smash these eights. So, I mean, we're doing okay so far. The... Tribe is not going to help us, but the Wily Joker will help us, actually. Uh, let's go Buffoon Pack first. So Buffoon Pack, I can I can pick up the Sly Joker if I want. Uh, maybe instead of this 8-ball, because we just played the 8s. Uh, I do want the Wily Joker. Maybe we'll get rid of the Faceless Joker. Or actually, the Obelisk isn't really helping us either. Really awkward, we ended up not getting any more Celestial Packs. So, do we want to restock here? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can afford it. I think we gotta go next. I think we need this Arcana Pack to give us money. Temperance? Or maybe Wheel? Polychrome is something. 
buffoon pack again. Sorry, what's the boss? The boss says diamonds are debuffed. So we still have four fives, we still have four nines, we still have four kings. All right, uh, Riff Raff is not it. Uh, showman, is there anything in here that I want to get rid of potentially? Like, you know, maybe if I pick this up and then I sell it and then I pick up one of these. So maybe, uh, will the extra discard be useful or would I rather have the, it's not a lot of molt, but it's a little bit of molt. So I'll take the Wrathful Joker here and all right. So I think my winning hand for this round is going to be the fives. And so let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. So we've got, you know, here a loose two and a four and a six, seven, eight that I can remove. So also I have a loose pair of aces. So in the full deck here, I've got two aces, two jacks, two tens. Can I get rid of those somehow? So here's jacks. Let's discard looking for the fives. So here's two tens. Um, this triple with the five is not going to score us points. So let's break the tens. Just to break them. Then what else have we got? So eight, seven, six. Hmm. So I have more discards. Uh, I do have the jacks and aces. Maybe I can try to smash those. Yeah. Where's the ramen at? Ramen is at 1.7. All right, so we did get the jacks and aces smash. Oops, <laughs> I'm just too powerful. Um, that's a good sign though. That's a good sign for the future. Um, let's, I could think about picking up the Uranus card, upgrading my two pair. Uh, I want to try to get rid of, yeah, I've got a lot of singles now, right? So maybe what I need to do is like nine through five, play a straight. Um, Let's try these Arcana Packs looking for money. Yeah, Hermit counts. Let's try Arcana again. Let's... Mm, death card. Death card technically helps. Though maybe I don't need this. Maybe I can work around with what I have. I will take the money because now I can pick up the Overstock. Question is, do I want castle instead of, you know, maybe this Sly Joker? I think I don't need the castle. I think I will take the Uranus though. Saturn. If I pick up Saturn here and I play a straight, the straight's gonna win, right? Which is not exactly what I want. Um, Maybe that's okay. Maybe, we take the Saturn. Maybe we don't need the agate. Yeah, let's reroll here. Uh, Baron. Baron times, well, you know, we do have some kings. So maybe, maybe that's the move. And if that's the move, you know, do we get rid of these molt? Here, you know, the obelisk, for example. I think we don't need the obelisk. I think we pick up the baron here. Stencil we don't need. Maybe stencil we do take. I mean, it's better than what we're currently doing up here. If I sell Wrathful and I sell Sly Joker. This is replaceable. I could probably do better than this, but you know, for short term, it's fine. Uh, let's save our money. Let's think about, here I have to play five cards. That's okay. Let's play the straight. The straight that I called out was five through nine. Oh, 
Oh, you know, with the red seal, maybe red seal on a king. How about that? Uh, what were the bosses that we already faced? We did debuff diamonds, so we'll go deja vu on the diamonds. Alright, for this boss, I want to play a 5 through 9 straight. Pretty sure that's the move. Um, or I could also go 2 through 6. Let's play the low straight. So, 2 through 6. That's it. Um, I don't need the king. I just need the four. Two through six. Uh, I guess if I go for the medium straight, then I can, I'll get it easier. Cause I could get either a four or a nine. I think I'm gonna go for the low straight. I was trying to think about you know, trying not to discard too much for the ramen, but um, I think it'll be fine if we do this. Two, three, four, five, six. There's the straight. It's a straight flush. Oh no, it's not upgraded. That's okay, because uh, we got the Baron, right? Smash. Oh, that was uh, more than we were expecting uh, because of the, the Kings, because of the Baron. Uh, so what do we got? Um, I don't know what the next boss is going to be. Uh, we'll take the blank voucher. There is a chance that we get the antimatter. Not a huge chance, but there's a chance. Um, do I want... So in the full deck here, now we've got no more straights. No more straights. So my next triple, I can do triple fives. I can do triple fours. Or sorry, triple nines. All right, Celestial Pack, that's still my three of a kind i really want this three of a kind to work but maybe three of a kind is just not enough cards and so it's not meant to work that's kind of sad when you put it that way Ooh, i could use strength to make another king yeah that's actually that's huge all right so I'm gonna do that. Um, I can go seven into eight. That's it. So seven into eight. Nice. I think for the final hand, I'm gonna play five kings and I'm gonna play five kings of spades. I think that's the move. All right, let's re-roll here. Wheel, nice. Holographic here. Uh, Reroll one more time. All right, this stuff I don't really need, so I'll just go next. All right, so this is face down stuff. That's annoying, um, but I think we'll be fine. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this boss I will beat with three of a kind fives. In the next couple rounds, I'll try you know a mix of hands. Actually, let's just do this. Let's let's play here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to play my three of a kind fives. I'm trying to get rid of a three and then two eights and one nine. So here's a nine that I can get rid of if I just play it. Maybe I have too many kings is worth too many points. So let's discard the kings. All right. Um, one, three. That can't be too many points. There's no way. Great, 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 great. Um, one, nine. I'm trying to get rid of one, nine. Um, I'm trying to get rid of my eights, so we'll discard the nines. All right, two eights. Smash. Three fives. Smash. Polychrome ice cream. Well, it is compelling. Uh, we do have the throwback coming back around. Um, 
I mean, this is like similar to the Wily Joker, right? Maybe ramen is on its way out. It's on 50% uh, power. So we take the ice cream here. I mean, it looks cool anyway. Uh, we can go buffoon pack. Buffoon pack for, we don't need this stuff. So we'll just take the castle and sell it. Maybe before we sell it, we'll open here in case there's a temperance. Ah, uh, do we want to smash? The, this is it. This is the final, <laughs> this is the final hand. So I think, uh, you know, if we want, we can turn these kings into spades. And then I think we skip. All right. Um, I can save my money. I can get rid of this castle. Go next. All right, now we skip to the boss. Sell the green joker. Face down. So, you know, as long as I sort by rank, here are my three nines. Yes, excellent, excellent. So now we go Hermit. I guess Crystal Ball doesn't matter. Mm, Arcana. Temperance, I guess. Temperance again. Um, Wheel. Yeah. All right, give me a shiny Baron. Well, fine. <laughs> I guess. That's technically what I asked. Um, if I want, I can make another red seal card. That's kind of cool. I mean, I could have made more red seal cards. I just know that I don't need it. And so maybe there it's better to take the temperance. All right, let's, uh, you know, maybe there could be some more technology. Not that much more technology, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. This helps. Maybe what we do is we do this. And then that way I can use the hand size. Oh, wait, I can't use the hand size. I only have five cards. What the heck are we doing? Um, Bloodstone is unfortunate. Uh, we got the world here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Could take another Venus card. <laughs> uh, this juggler does nothing. Todd does nothing. Go next. Purple. Very large. I think not, my friend. I think not as large as you think you are. Uh, we'll take Venus here. Look at that. And then skip. 15 bucks. Uh, do we need to re-roll the boss? Don't threaten me with a good time. One, two, three, four, flush five. Uh, we don't get any Baron value, but, you know, he's hanging out. There. That's what I meant to do. I meant to win with zero cards in the deck. Uh, it does take a little bit of planning, but it is not impossible. Maybe it's not even hard to do. Um, if you just go, uh, like I said, eight flushes and then find some way to use the extra cards, um, then you can very easily just, you know, go for the, the full removal uh, is what we did there. All right, hope you enjoyed the double feature. Take care, everyone.